I mean, I don't know firsthand, but I see from my boyfriend's relationship with his co-founder, the personal and business are so intermeshed and in that, um, you know, in some sense, it's really great because if your down moments aren't aligned, you can lift each other up and be very candid. But in if the down modes are synced, it can cause a lot of problems and it almost becomes like too much of a problem to deal with. And in these moments, observing them from afar, I feel very grateful not having to deal with those because sometimes there's just an extra problem that's just not good for the business. Yeah, so having the co-founder can dampen the oscillation, but can also exacerbate it. Right? It can make it much worse. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it can slow down some decisions. Sometimes it can slow down the company. Sometimes the employees can really like a co-founder and leave because they hate the other co-founder. Like there's a lot of problems that can arise from having a co-founder. And I feel it's like almost the same process as finding your romantic match. Mm -hmm. uh, only on top of that, you need to align the business skill set. I felt that I was able to replace what a co-founder felt, but obviously this comes with the ignorance of not having had a co-founder and understanding the real value of it.